thousand hours of border i'm going to teach you everything you need to know about border in 2023 i play at a, a very high level every single time and i'm going to show you these are all the takes you need to get from copper to champion and further the champion because champion is a joke in rank 2.0 so operators you'll need on board uh, on on uh, armory you'll need trap operators lesion thorn frost uh wall denial is optional i'll show you why it's optional though i advise you guys have a, at least like one though one's good another one would be just 1.5s just pick some of the 1.5 and then last would be like a jaeger or Wamai, because there's a lot of soft nade parts in this map and you don't want to get flashed out so just for the sake of each one i'm gonna go like alibi just so I can open up everything with the with this gun. All right, let's hop into it though. First of all, you would make some uh, some head holes on the left here. The reasoning for those holes is that way it creates a little bit more pressure on the armory balcony. Allows you to contest it a little bit better. Second, reinforce this because yeah, I mean, you don't wanna get wall banged. And foot holes, this, that way it's, you can kind of indicate if anyone's walking through. Um, you can do head holes. I'll show you. Head holes, if you want, to throw C4 over. Or, my favorite is to do foot holes. Because it's easier to... It's a one more of a one way. It works both right here better. But you never really want... You don't want to do head holes. You don't want to do that. Because then they get a deep angle. And then reinforce triple. Um, some people want to do a rotate here. Some people do a rotate here, but I highly advise you don't do it if you are not, like, aware of it. So, let's go ahead and reinforce it off. This wall here, too. Okay, so we have about three reinforcements left. You could use it either on, like, this wall. You could... Oh, I also make head holes here. That way you can see in the small office and shit. We take it be easier. Some people like to uh, do a CC extend. It's just, like I said, it's just, like, the same purpose the armory holes. just to waste time. If you wanted to you can make these but these guys these kind of work both ways you basically just want to like make a rotate and then just kind of like back off late round you could use another reinforcement here so like the last three reinforcements are really up to you make holes here and you kind of like get an angle onto the door i got found rotate too this way you can kind of get back your site quick oh yeah that that's that's kind of like that basics of armory um at least for defending it. So, like, how should you defend it? Also, you can make, like, vert holes, too, for the nades, but... I mean, if you sit half wall, like, you shouldn't really sit here reliantly. You should only be here for, like, a surprise. You can prep this window for the hop-out, too. Shield 90 if you're going to make that rotate. Yeah, if you have a shield, <laughs> you, could, you could put it down here. You could put the shield down over here. Or you could just put the shield default, but this one gets naded. Like, everybody nades one all the time, so this is kind of pointless. If you don't want anything to get naded, you put it further up. And then you slap some ADSs on it, you can support the guy playing CC. So, places to play. Play the armory wall and the shield. You could just lightly contest. Um, always want to have someone over here watching the concrete walk in. Play office. You can early roam east. You can early roam CC. But yeah, for the most part, just kind of where the gunfights lead you, make sure you have traps on the bottom of metal. Sound cues are very, very important on this map. So yeah, have, have it all over here. But yeah, the main the main weak points that you guys need to keep aware of is the walk-in on this door on concrete. And obviously them overtaking armory. Every attacker, like bro, every attacker has done this before. It's just so easy. They, they, they all just, they just shoot you down because they have the 2x. They're going to gun you down, bro. Making sure you don't die so early, too, is, is a crucial one, too. I think everyone knows that, though. But yeah, for the most part, like, if they go for a... You always want to be <laughs> in a five-stack. You want to be ready for a, a rush here. That's why you got the C4 holes. You have the holes here. But for the most part, yeah, bro. If they just don't... If they get control of armory, it, it might be wraps for your team. It might be wraps. So don't, don't lose armory. But yeah, just, like, light roam here. Light roam CC. Make it, make it very hard for them to get inside the building. And then that's how you, how you kind of play this bomb site but if you're so cute man yo just like just do a little bit of everything bro just do a little bit of everything play your sound try your best
All right, let's go and move on to the attacking side now. Now we're going to attack. I'd say attacking border is a just it's like it's it's pretty it's pretty 50 50. I think whoever has the most confidence on attack or defense is can it's really the, the the dependent. All right, so there are two very fundamental takes for armory. You'll see every team do this. So step one would be take control of CC before you go. This is the, called the armory direct. So my goal is to open up this armory wall. Uh, be careful because a lot of people like to open up this door and try to run at you like this. So really be careful. A zombie might be holding here, so you know they might have a rotate 90. So you got to clear out this room and you got to solidify this map control or get a flank cam before you start taking anywhere else. You don't really need to go anywhere past CC on a direct take. It really depends though. You can if you want though. But the main goal is to get this wall open so you can either walk in or plan. Now, if they have head holes, which is very, very common, you just ignore the head holes and you, you make sure no one's, you know, you just keep an eye on it and make sure no one's swinging out. But you would open this wall up with ace. Usually this wall is reinforced right here. If it's not, then people try to go for a default plan like this. But the process of getting CC might take a lot of time. The process of getting the main wall might take a lot of time. So obviously flash EMP will do this. Uh, my favorite is to go uh, below as Ayana and nade half wall or nade a shield here. Very, very good. So base your takes all the time or not all the time, but like base your take off of this if it's an armory direct. Um, but the faster you can clear CC, the faster you get this wall open, the more progression in time you'll have to work the lane around. Now let's see the breach open and it is still like a 4v5, 5v5. Bro, y'all gotta start working picks. Like, peak 90, peak the breach. Like, this is where, like, gunfight should be happening. You'll kill a lot of people, like, right here. And then you drone sight. If it's only one person right here, y'all gotta walk in and take those gunfights. Or send some guy, you know. Like, eventually, not all five people are gonna be in the bomb site. So, as they're squirming around, you gotta, you gotta pick off a pick. Gunfights will lead you during the round and it'll be a lot easier to make a decision off of it. But <coughs> for the most part, try to get the bomb down. If not, safely. Cross over half wall, take gunfights, and then plant here. Have someone cover you. Odds of you getting C4 from below is pretty low because no one really has direct info on you that most of the time. So let's say armory doesn't work. Or you want to do the start of the round. You can translate an armory take to an east take, which is at the moment what I like most about it. So let's say we want to do an east take. I don't want to do armory because they're holding it with a zombie too heavy. So what you would do is you would spawn this side of the map first. You would bring ace or any kind of harbature. You don't really have to have one, but it helps gain this wall open. So your first objective would be to take control of east. And you get this, get this wall open. Just pretend like I opened this up. So you want to lock down east. You don't want to get flanked from 90 or flanked from below. So once you kind of have uh, this control, you know, maybe you have a drone CC. It's like you want to take art. You want to take inside. You kill anybody holding this. Once you get this angle and open, bro, it's literally like chalet. It's like chalet basement. Kill anybody in here. And you could probably try to plant behind the bomb or try to go for a quick plant and plant with bricks. But the whole point of the east take is the same thing as armory, but you're 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 just hitting them from a different side. You're hitting them from behind, you know, you're clapping the cheeks. But at this, again, the step process would be to have someone constantly pressure archives, take east control, and then take office control, join it out, get the utility open. And then once you kind of clear everything out, keep them in front of you, watch for your flanks, and then the kill should come your way. But uh, that's mostly how you go for armory. That's both sides of armory. Okay, next after armory, you would probably go bathroom. So who should be bringing the bathroom? Bathroom, you want to bring like just guns, man. Guns and traps are the most important. I say traps are most important, but mostly just guns. 1.5 scopes, oryx, you know. Obviously, oryx doesn't have it anymore, but just pick pick roamers. Uh, for this sake, I always played capkin, but I'll just I'll just show you guys oryx for now. Okay, so I'll just go down the quick reinforcements first.
So base or uh, bathroom doesn't require that much side setup. It's pretty simple. All right, these holes are here. That way you can kind of see inside. Uh, you it's optional to make them in a workshop in the into the square, but you don't really need to. Open up the hatch because you'll be roaming up here. Now, reinforcing these four walls are optional. It's not required, though, because not everybody hits vents. Uh, but the reason I say traps, you want to put traps on main door. People love coming main door events. They love coming this side, so you want to reinforce these two walls. The way you have to see bathroom borders, you want to, you want to have control of, like, the whole map at the beginning. And then eventually, as sound and time goes on, then you eventually dwindle down. And you eventually start giving up map control. Uh, make some holes. I made him. I made him King George level just because sometimes I, I like. I like the knee holes. Uh, same thing with full holes here. That way, in case anyone walks in archives, get the hatch open here. So the whole objective of bathroom. And then your traps can go like just literally anywhere on the map. Just get creative with it. So your main goal is to hold on to top because obviously like on every first floor bomb site in every game or every match map uh you want to prevent them from getting vertical it's just it's just kind of the fundamental and it's, it's a good adjustment for having opportunities in the round so most people like what they do in bathroom is they come through horizontally horizontally means they're coming through customs here while coming through events this you just want to like just keep like playing like push pull method you know um, uh, and if they're taking top floor, they would come through armory. You would shoot their drones, coming through archives, stall as much as you can. And then eventually, you want to fall down this hatch. Fall down this hatch right here. And then go from there. I like reinforcing this wall because I don't like getting wall banged. So, but yeah, like, let's say, like, first, um, minute, minute 20 in the round, and they're about to take top floor. You can either dedicate your life to take a gunfight here. Or just eventually fall off. Boom. Minute 30. Now they have to make... Uh, now you just spread the roam out horizontally. Or if it's vice versa, if they come horizontally, then you would spread out vertically. And then further back into sight. Well, yeah, like I said, roam the whole map when you're playing bathroom. It gives you a lot more opportunity of where they're coming in from. And then eventually... They all have, they, they all have to drop, start dropping hatches. So, like, just stay away from the vert. Don't, don't squirm too much around in east or you'll get your head chopped off. And then, yeah, you just play the hatch drops. And then you just... The, the bomb actually goes down in bathroom a lot more than you would think. But the bathroom hatch drop is very, very common. So keep that in mind. But yeah, that's, uh, that's how you play bathroom. So let me show you guys of how to attack it now. Attacking bath... You know the thing is... Attacking every bomb site is the same exact way. Except for armory. Because... Every bomb site is on the first floor. For the sake of vert, let's go buck for now. Go buck. So there's the first method of the bathroom attack would be horizontal. So remember we were talking about horizontal, right? I want to try to save ammo for buck. So I'm not going to use too much. Well, horizontal basically means that you're going the same floor. So this is more of a direct take. You would go through customs and you would go straight for site. You, you can make a rotate into passport. And then you just kind of like just box them in here. You box them in. You would take... This is where you would take ventilation. You would take vent. And then get an angle all the way down into here. And you know, drawn it all out. The only thing is you got to be careful with the vert players. Because they'll try to come on you. <sighs> Anyways, let's be mature here chat. Let's be mature. Where was I before I was really interrupted? Yeah, horizontal take. So basically, you just go custom side. You go find a beast. So let's say there are, we don't want to do a horizontal take. L let's go top floor first. All right. So then you put three places. <laughs> you put three places down. <laughs> okay. So my, my favorite three places up here. Put it armory. So the whole concept is you would have three people armory. And then two people clearing custom side or uh, archive side. So it's like tad tad. It's like you want to get full map control. So we're going to pinch the top floor first. We're going to take arm, uh, armory first. Make sure to turn it out. Normally there's like one or two people that die up here. Uh, and then you would come through archives. These guys would drone this part. 
and then armory would drone this part. So once you kind of let's say it's a four v four now, and we want we want we kill them all, right? All the rumbles are dead, and now it's like about a minute forty now, minute forty in here. You would leave a flank drone for uh, metal and a flank drone for east. Now our goal is to get the bathroom hatch open if possible, start making verts. You know, get vert above the bomb site. Make sure you have vert above the rotate here. This is a very, very strong vertical presence right here. Just for the sake of buck, I want to save my ammo. So yeah, you would see the rotate here. You can see the door from here. Yeah, I don't really make vert past this door because like it, it really depends though. But like if you want to see the armory door below, do it right here. Or maybe let's say you want to um, drop the hatch, but this is the basic vert. You're trying to end bathroom and you're trying to plant and do this and go beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop. And then bomb goes down and then you win the round. So that's like the bathroom take. The longest part of that round is probably the room clear, but the XQ is relatively like pretty, pretty easy to scope out. Um, but yeah, that, that's both of the that's both takes of how you would play bathroom. Let's move on to um, ventilation now. Okay, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of bringing castle uh, on top floor ventilation when you're doing a roam because it's just a little bit too much and you kind of lock yourself out sometimes. Okay, let's say we have to go ventilation though. It's literally almost the same exact thing as defending ventilation. Like I said, it's very... The bomb sites are just so similar because the vertical gameplay is also very similar. This is optional. You can, you can make a rotate in the bathroom. This just kind of allows you a little more free play rather than running, being like a freaking D-Day running out of this door. Uh, okay. So we reinforce these three walls back here. Uh, this wall's optional. Let's do it. When, eh, no. Okay, it's actually been a really long time since I played. Hey, my holes here and the reinforcement to go right here. Ventilation's just kind of an outdated bomb site, just because everyone knows how to play it. It's very hard to innovate on vent unless you just hit like a crazy roam. Bathrooms just bathrooms a lot better because of the rework. So like obviously make a rotate. Uh, the head holes here are optional. We don't need to do too much, though. Okay. Let's just pretend I read. Yo, this wall gets reinforced. That wall gets reinforced. So we have about four reinforcements left. What I would do is actually open up this hatch. Just, just in case you need to fall back quickly. But I would reinforce the archives one. The reason being, this is the same thing as the bathroom one, if you noticed. It's because that hatch... Doesn't really work that well for attackers. They have to drop, but this is a good escape route for defenders. Even though you might get shot from the front door, but the likelihood of that's really low. So, so yeah, same holes, same setup. But the main objective is just to make, you know, make some vert. If you're, if you're really planning on relying on vert, I would reinforce this off. That way you don't get your back blown out. Anyways, let's be mature here. Uh, make holes. You can also make, um, make holes here that we see on the door. But yeah, the same, same, same type of room, basically. You just hold on to a top floor and then you just kind of go from there and all the gunfights will come, come your way. Uh, the, oh, let's see, alternate. That's really the, that's really the main the main defense. That's the main defense though for um that bomb site, and attacking. I'm literally telling you guys right now, the attacking is the same exact thing except you don't full clear. You just take minimal. All you have to do is just take up to uh archives, and then you leave a flank cam ninety or something like that. But you just make the vert. And the, the, the horizontal take is the exact same. I'm not going to re-demonstrate it. It's the exact same, though. You go through customs and go through the front door. Okay, customs. Bro, listen, this is a $1,000 video. I'll, I'll go over customs, I guess. 
Customs is a little bit more of a loose bomb site because no one really plays it that much. And it really is no default for it, but I'll, I'll show you guys anyway. Bro, customs. Okay. I'm literally gonna show you attack on defense in the same exact in the same exact um Okay. If my knowledge is correct, if I remember how to play this bomb site, the most accurate. But like I said, customs really just comes down to your gun. Okay, I think it's actually the other way around. Is it the other way around? I don't remember the holes of this one, but it's 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 one way around. Like I said, like I've I the last time I played with bomb site was probably competitive. Nobody goes this bomb site ranked anymore. Yeah, you just make a ton of fuck fucked up of holes here. Just so we can see between the bomb site and the rain. Let's just, let's just pretend I reinforce this wall off for now. I want to demonstrate attack later. But it's just traps, man. Just make sure they just don't play the bomb, bro. <laughs> just, just make sure they don't enter like too much in the building. Let's keep it on main door. But like, bro, listen, there's only one round, bro. Like, you don't have to overthink customs. Customs is probably the like most tedious map ever. Bring, bring guns, bring play for sound. Out of my whole time playing comp, what a lot of people did was just direct takes, bro. They would just open up this wall, try to get this bomb site down. But this was a little bit before the rework, too. Okay, so attacking. To attack customs, bro. So, like, you would go through passport and open up this wall here. Open up this wall if it's reinforced. Just find ways to get near the bomb site and just lurk around the lurk around the bomb site for for kills. Yeah, it's really that. I'm not gonna overcomplicate it for you guys. It's really that simple. Like, just make sure you're you're getting inside the building, and if you're outside, you're holding a, a purposeful angle. But that is my thousand hours of border. That's all my knowledge. Oh, also, oh, actually, you know what? Some people actually do like to hold up top when you're defending. People like to do this. They like to uh, either open or close his hatch. Typically, you would want to um, leave them open if you are planning on roaming. But if you're not, then you can close them off. But there's just it's just so easy to retake these, so you can always go for a retake. Oh yeah, you can make holes above the tension right here. You can see a walk in right here. Anybody that walks in jail is gonna die. Same thing with the window hopping. I'm pretty sure you can see above. Yeah, you can see the window hopping from here. Pretty shabby, right? Same thing with the customs double right here. Custom double right here, I think. A little bit further over. But like, oh, you know, obviously you don't need to do this much. It's just, just go 1.5, kill everyone. But yeah. That is my thousand hours of border. Be sure to leave a like, share with your friends. If this video did help you out. And let me know what map you guys want to do next. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. I'll see you next time.